Thanks for watching the installation video for Pole Wrap, a unique remodeling product that will beautify those ugly basement support poles. Pole Wrap is made of half inch wide panels bonded to a flexible backing that simulate V groove fluting on a classic column. It is available in oak, maple, and cherry veneer. It's also available in paintable MDF that is easier to finish because it has no grain. If you just purchased Pole Wrap or are considering using it to wrap your basement poles, this video will provide a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to install the pole wrap system. Before purchasing pole wrap, you should first measure the length of the pole and the circumference to determine the appropriate size pole wrap and cap and base to purchase. Before you start the installation, make sure that the pole surface is clean and free of any loose debris. You will also need the proper tools, including a tape measure, pencil, a hand or circular saw with a fine tooth saw blade, a utility knife, a caulking gun, ruler, a tube of construction adhesive, a roll of regular masking tape, and a roll of blue painter's tape. Once you take pole wrap out of the package, measure the length of the pole and mark that length on the pole wrap with a pencil. Next, use a ruler to draw the line across the entire surface of the pole wrap. After marking, cut the roll on the mark with a fine tooth saw. While a circular saw is recommended, you can also use a good hand saw with a fine tooth edge. Next, use the small piece that was remaining after cutting pole wrap to determine which groove slat to follow when cutting lengthwise. Based on this calculation, use the utility knife to cut the width of the pole wrap along the V-groove so that it just overlaps when you wrap it around the pole. Remember, when you apply the adhesive later, it will take up space, which will eliminate this overlap and produce an invisible seam. Now lay the pole wrap flat and fold and roll it to break down the slats and ensure that it will wrap perfectly around the pole. Next, apply the adhesive around the pole using a caulking gun. When applying, place one quarter inch beads around the pole about every 10 inches. Once you apply the adhesive, immediately wrap the pole wrap around the pole. Start with the inside middle of the pole and pull the ends. Now wrap masking tape around the outside of the finished pole to hold the pole wrap in place until the adhesive is dry, usually in 24 hours. Once you have completed the pole wrap, it is time to move on to installing the cap and base. First, apply adhesive to the underside of the base. Next, position the halves around the pole and wrap masking tape as shown around the perimeter of the base to hold the halves together. Then press the base to the floor or carpet. Now position the halves for the cap around the pole and tape the perimeter like you did the base. Then, slide the tape cap up along the pole and press it firmly against the ceiling. Use two strips of blue painter's tape to hold the cap in place until it dries. After the adhesive is dry, remove all the tape from the cap, base, and the pole wrap and trim away any excess adhesive with your utility knife. Now your pole wrap is ready to finish. A couple of coats of polyurethane will suit most tastes, but you can also paint or stain to fit the decor of your basement. With pole wrap, it doesn't have to look like your poles were an afterthought when you finish your basement. For more information about our products, visit our website at www.polewrap.com. Pole wrap, the best solution for finishing your basement poles.